www.mononervous.com and today I'm doing a video all about fleece. So the first question I get asked a lot is where I buy my fleece. So I buy most of my fleece from Joann Fabrics and Joann Fabrics normally has like a 60% sale every so often on either their anti-pill fleece or their blizzard fleece and both of them I use fine with my bunnies. Um, yeah, once they have like a 60% sale or even more, I go ahead and stock up on some fleece. Uh, this is a Christmas one I'm holding right now. And I buy a yard of each pattern normally, um, so I have them cut them into yards for me and this is how big a yard is, it's three feet. Um, and I find that this is a really good length for most all of my needs. <laughs> um, so I do use other things besides um, fleece. I use sheets, cotton sheets for the foam mats, puzzle mats that I use on the floor of the bunny cage and uh, so this is just a cotton sheet and the reason I use sheets is that they are thinner than um, fleece so it's easier to wrap around the puzzle mats and clip on with a binder clip. Um, fleece is too bulky for me um, and also it takes a lot more pieces to cover the whole thing whereas if you get like a queen size sheet it covers the whole thing. Um, but I sometimes use two twin um, sheets as well to cover my foam mats and these I normally don't buy. Almost all my sheets are from my mom, um, just from old beds and stuff. Yeah, that's where I get those, otherwise I get them from Goodwill. Another thing I use is ugh, towels and these I don't buy either. Um, I get these from um, our house, I guess. Um, so whenever our towels start to smell or, you know, just aren't good anymore, um, towels tend to do that when they're older, um, just from not being dried out properly. Um, so I just use them for the bunnies after that, just because as long as they're not wet, they don't smell. Um, so yeah, that's where I get my towels. Then I do have other sh um, fleeces like this. This was from... I don't know where this is from, I got it as a gift, but it's just a fleece baby blanket. Um, and then I just have some other random fleeces that people have given me or, you know, my mom didn't want anymore. So yeah, for the mo I prefer Joanne fleece and eventually that's probably all I will use. Um, but something that I am actually going to be switching over to now um, is cage liners. So the reason I wanna switch to cage liners is because now that my rabbits are older, um, they've been having a lot more accidents than they used to when they were younger. Um, Lulu and Ebony have always not been very good with their litter training, so that's part of it. But um, the reason why they're having more accidents is, I don't know, I'm just guessing because they're older um, and stuff like that happens. But because of that, um, I want something more absorbent. And um, so I made, I've been making these cage liners. This one actually is not mine. Um, this is just two layers of fleece. The back side is this green and the front side is this really pretty polka dot pattern. Um, this is a two by two cage liner and I'm making these currently for my friends. Um, one of them is the bunny chick, which she has a blog and I'll post it down below. I'm sending her a bunch, which is why these are in my laundry because I have to fold them and send them out tomorrow to her. Um, and this is a two by four that matches the two by two. So this is bigger. Um, and those are gonna be for her bunnies. Um, on the inside, I have two layers of U-Haul um, absorbent fabric and yeah, so that is what I'm going to be switching to. I currently only have one or two cage liners for my bunnies just because it does take an awful lot of time to make these, like a couple hours for each cage liner. So because of that, I have been working on my friend's cage liners first just because they, I don't know, it's kind of, you know, they paid me for it so I need to get theirs done. Um, I finished one of my friend's cage liners and I'm working on another friend's cage liners. Um, so here's another pattern I did. So I am by no means an expert at this at all. I've made so many mistakes and I'm definitely still learning. Um, but if you guys like really like these and find it interesting, I've thought about maybe doing a giveaway in the future, like giving away um, a cage liner. Um, or possibly, I don't know if I will ever sell them just because it does take a lot of time, but if a lot of you are interested, 
I'll consider, you know, maybe selling a couple. Um, but anyways, on to the next question. <laughs> so the next question is, do you have to use fleece with rabbits? Um, so the answer is no, you do not need to use fleece for your bunnies, um, for your bunny cage or anything like that. Um, but I will explain why I personally have chose to do this with my bunnies. So even though you don't have to use fleece with your bunnies, um, I will explain why I personally use it with my rabbits. Um, so just an explanation is a rabbit's hind legs, well, and their front feet, but mostly their um, two hind legs or feet, um, when they are in the wild, like when rabbits were created, they were created to live in the wild. Um, obviously now we have domesticated rabbits. They are a little bit different, but their feet still work the same. Um, so if you, um, if a rabbit is hopping around outside on the grass or, you know, the dirt, it is a lot softer than, we'll say, like a wooden floor or like cement floor or tile flooring. And because of this, when a rabbit goes to hop around on a hard surface for their whole life, it does affect their feet. Um, so like if they were living outside, um, their feet would bend um, on the grass and it would bend naturally um, and that sort of thing. So because of that, normally their feet don't have much of an issue. Also, rabbits who live outside normally don't live very long, like rabbits in the wild live maybe two years max just because they're such high prey animals. Um, but because rabbits are living a lot longer and because we are trying to keep them as healthy as possible, um, when a rabbit is housed on hard flooring, um, their foot starts to not bend properly because it can't squish in to the material it is hopping on. Um, and because of that, that can cause issues such as sore hocks. Um, and that is the main reason why I personally um, house my rabbits on fleece. Sorry I'm distracted, but Lulu's like curled up underneath the tripod and she's so cute. I'm gonna take a picture and insert it into the video because she's so cute. So if you wanna learn more about sore hawks and all that stuff, you can go ahead and watch my sore hawks video as I explain a lot more in detail on that video. Um, but that is why I choose to house my rabbits on fleece. Um, Lulu, just because of her, the way her body is and her breed, um, along with sometimes ebony, they are known to get chronic sore hocks, just kind of where it's always a little bit red, a always a little bit irritated. Um, obviously because they're older, it puts a lot more stress on, you know, different parts of their body. Um, so when they were younger, they really didn't have an issue, but now that they're older, you know, they definitely struggle with, you know, chronic inflammation of their hocks. And that is why I choose to use foam matting, um, fleece, um, stuff like that. Ebony, stop, no. If your rabbit is young and is destroying the fleece and is eating it, don't use it like that it's not safe. Um, if your rabbit is ingesting um, a ton of fabric, that definitely is not safe. From time to time, my rabbits have dug and chewed holes in fleece and they've survived, like it's not gonna kill them, but you know, if they're doing it a lot and they're super, you know, destructive, I just wouldn't personally use it until they're a little bit older. Um, normally around the age of like two or three years old, they start to grow out of that a little bit. Um, so, you know, I mean, it definitely depends on the bunny. Some are just total rambunctious, but um, yeah. So with Sterling, I was lucky enough to get a baby bunny who actually doesn't chew holes in fleece, which is pretty shocking. Some people ask me if they should be using other types of bedding with their bunnies. Um, and I would say definitely not. Um, a rabbit does not need bedding on the floor of their cage. Um, I have, like I said earlier, there is reasons why I do use it. Um, and it definitely is super, has its benefits, but if you can't use fleece, there's no reason to use other types of bedding like Carefresh or, you know, any of that disposable bedding. Um, that's just because it confuses a rabbit, um, with litter training. They don't know where the litter box is and where, you know, the toilet isn't. So, so that is the main reason why I wouldn't use it. Another reason is sitting on bedding, um, that type of bedding all the time. I just find it's going to get a really dirty um, quickly um, just because you can't see where all the poop and pee is going and they're going to be laying in it. Rabbits with longer fur are going to get it stuck in their um, coat causing mats 
Um, and most of all, it's just really expensive. Um, fleece is reusable, so it's not as expensive unless you buy it like all the time like I do. But um, yeah, you can just buy a couple um, things of fleece and it will last a lot longer than one bag of Carefresh. So one quick thing I'm going to mention is how I clean my fleece. I have a video on like how to wash my fleece and stuff, um, like how I do my bunny laundry. But um, some people still had some questions for me that I'm going to answer. So the main thing was like how do I get the hair off of my fleece? Um, and the answer sort of is I don't. Um, the, a rabbit's blanket is always going to have hair on it, like there's no way to remove it all. Um, but what I do is I take the dirty fleece, I go outside and I shake it um, to the best of my ability. Mostly all I'm doing is trying to get the hay off um, because that's not really good to put through the washer. Um, and then I stick it in the wash and after it's done washing, I put it in the dryer and that is where a lot of the hair comes off. It gets stuck in the little lint trap and then you can just like, you know, clean it out and <laughs> throw it away. Make sure you clean it out though because you don't want to be starting fires. Um, but yeah, that's honestly all I do and so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I know it's kind of like rambly and long and like, I don't know if it was that interesting, but yeah, that's just kind of like all about fleece and what I use and I didn't fold any of this fleece while I was talking, so I should probably go and do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna keep up with me, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you know, all that stuff. And I will see you guys soon on a new video. Bye.